Hey Dan, Kayvon, Desmond. Uh, my name is Linda Sithavong, uh, also known as Candy Sithavong in the Facebook group. Um, Candy is my goes by name. Uh, I was born with it. My sister named me when she was five years old when I was born. So it's my name since birth, but my legal name is Linda Sithavong. Um, I am a single mother here in the Fraser Valley. I work for a local software company doing technical support and some sales and renewals. Uh, I work from home, so I've actually had a lot of um, access to um, free time, um, you know, picking my own hours. Even though you work from home, you can still get a lot of stuff done, but um, my time is kind of resorted to the time that my son's at school. So it was a little bit of a challenge um, getting in the four hours a week uh, of class time of with pure silence. Uh, it didn't always happen. I had a lot of interruptions throughout the whole class, um, but I have to say that he was really, really good for me uh, to actually complete the class and listen. And the replays were great. I'm very grateful for the replays because I'm listening to them like audiobooks. Um, I joined HTC because right now it's it's me and my son, and I'm all he has. I'm all that. Um, I'm the only one that's bringing in the money here, so I really need to do something. And when you work from home for a long period of time, the thought of just going back to a nine to five office job just sounds like it just, it sounds like torture. I know it cannot be done. I cannot go back to going into an office, sitting there, working all day long, taking a one hour break, <clears throat> coming back to my desk only to work again, <clears throat> especially doing something that I'm not 100% passionate about. Um, don't get me wrong, I don't hate my job. I really don't. Um, I've been in this, I've been with the company for about 13 years now, so I know the job inside and out. My only issue is that there is no room for growth. Um, what I'm doing is all I'll be doing. I have no way to learn more, um, grow in the company, and I just I just need more. So um, an ex-boyfriend of mine actually sent me Dan's book, F.U. Money, and I read it in literally one night. One night, I did not sleep, I read in about four or five hours until about four o'clock in the morning and I would just was so amazed. I was like, how is this person coming into my thoughts and and understanding every single thing that and pinpointing every single pain that I've gone through and and all the thoughts that I'm thinking. How I thought I was the only one. Um, I know I was meant for more than just, you know, going to work, doing what my friends do. They often joke about how um, I literally don't work, I, I don't have a job, and yada yada yada, but yet I'm out there living the lavish life, spending here, spending there, which I'm not. Um, they don't see what I do, but. Um, yeah, so nobody really knows what I'm doing actually right now with HTC. I haven't told any family members. I haven't told any of my friends. I just don't think that they would understand unless, they, unless they've unless they actually either read your book, got to know Dan, seen his way of thought, and, and get a better understanding of um, where, where we're all coming from. Um, they're all meant for, they all have careers, they all have, you know, doing the thing that they went to school for. 
I'm probably the only one that never really went to college. Well, I did. I went to community college to do some technical work. And yeah, maybe I am doing that work, but it's not my passion. Um, I would have to say that I'm more striving towards the entrepreneurship in life. Um, listening to the classes really dug deep into why I'm where I am right now. Uh, fear. Fear is a huge one. A huge, huge, huge one. Um, I'm what you would call the complete opposite of a sapphire. I'm not very social. Um, I'm not one to, you know, be excited to go network. But put in that situation, it's not a problem. But I'm just not one to always just go try to seek it. So I think the biggest um, thing I need to overcome through this group is putting myself out there. Um, if you notice in the groups, I'm you know more of an observer and I'll, I'll post here and there, I'll ask questions here and there, but I'm not um, one to be all active in the group. So I, what I hope to gain in this is to come out of my comfort zone. Making this video is one of the first things that's really, really gonna help with that. I've never made a video, I've never posted a video, I rarely post to the group. So I'm really hoping that with a little bit more push, I can get myself out there. Talking on the phone is not a problem for me. Really, it's not. It's making videos and and trying to sound enthusiastic and, <laughs> um, and I can't get over the whole getting out of the salesy, sounding salesy. I guess with all my role plays, everyone always told me, everyone thought I was a sapphire, which I'm totally not. Um, they thought I was very salesy, very pushy, and I get that, I've gotten that all the time. I talk fast, I'm impatient, I wanna get to the point, um, and it's when I'm nervous, I, I ramble, and probably what I'm doing right now, but that is something I need to overcome, and I don't think that I can um, talk to an influencer unless I get my role plays down and get out of the whole salesy pitch, salesy sound. And I swear every single person I've role played with said, you sound salesy, you t sound like you're just trying to close a deal. Get in, pinpoint their pain get to know them and be passionate about what you're trying to provide to them and don't just try to sound like you're just trying to close a deal. And I think that is my my main goal, my main struggle. And once I overcome that, I guess that's all I need to really do. But um, right now I'm just gonna keep listening to the course keep listening to the videos, keep, sorry, keep watching the videos, see what else Dan puts out there, and try to use this in real life. Try to use this in real life, but not sound like I'm trying to use it in real life. Um, the results I've gotten out of HTC is just so great. I just need to utilize them, and right now I, that's what's holding me back, my my fears in coming out of my comfort zone. Every day I wake up and I do my same routine, my son has his routine, we all have our routine, and it's about getting out of our comfort zone before we can, before I can really feel like I'm going to really succeed, but there's no other way. I have to, have to have to do this. <clears throat> if I were to recommend HTC to my best friend, um, I don't know how I would do it with the words. I just, what sold me was reading Dan's book. Um, 
so I guess I'm still trying to figure out figure out how how unless I can sell not sell but recommend HTC to a friend um, without having to have them just read the book on their own or learn about down on their own um, I really need to figure out people's pain points and compassion is something that I struggle with <laughs> honestly even being a mother I can honestly say um, being compassionate was a struggle for me not that I'm mean or um, rude or anything I'm just very ruby like and it may sound like I'm I'm, I don't have any compassion, but I do. I just don't like to treat people like babies. Um, what else? I really hope that I can just put in more effort. And I know that's just all on me, but I'm really struggling to just put in more effort into the role plays, um, the assignments, I wanna do those all over again. I really pretty much just wanna do the whole seven weeks all over again in a few days and really just repeat what I learned because those last seven weeks were just really, really overwhelming. Um, well, that pretty much sums me up. Um, I will submit this video as well as submit the size for the t-shirt. I'm very excited to get my certificate and we shall see. Let's, let's get me more into Discord and be a little bit more active in the group and get out of my comfort zone. Be fearless. Thanks for everything that you've taught me. I am so, so, so grateful. So grateful for everything I've learned. So grateful to be a part of this group. And let's see where we go from here. Bye guys.